What's going on, guys? Mr. Acolyte here, coming at you with another match review. We are back at the group stage of the World Finals. We got a fun one this time. We got my goat, Garlic Bread versus Japan's last man standing, the final Japanese fighters player, <laughs> Ikohan. So I have not seen this. This should be an amazing set, so let's not waste any time and jump right on into it. All right. We got Baby on screen. You love to see it. Ooh, up against Lab Coat. Already 6S into 6H. You love to see it. Let's go. Immediate spark. Mm. 5L. I'm going to try not to be biased in this set, by the way. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> I'm, try my be I'm an Ecohan fan, though. I do like Ecohan, but I'm going to try not to be biased in this set. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so ooh, so he picks up the up tech. Picks up the up tech. We saw a lot of that in that last set with Yasha. I think it's really easy to form the habit of up teching, right? I catch myself doing it a lot too. Like up tech, I don't know what it is about up tech. It just I mean it's because you can't be mixed. I mean that's that's the you know, that's the core of it. If you back tech, you're open to lows, overheads, all that stuff. If you up tech, you're in the air. Ooh, and Dragon Rush goes through unimpeded. 5L, 2L, 5L is going to get the opening there. Ikoan definitely has a lot of momentum right now. Oh, wow. 5M. Why does 5M hit so high? Dude, look at that. It, it, it caught the up tech. Guard Cancel Vanish is going to get him out of dodge there. So we're going to do some pressure here. Oh, I was just going to say that this matchup is very tough, man. Like, Baby, at least in my, this is just my opinion, Baby Lab Coat, I feel, is very tough because she can just ignore pretty much all of Baby's tools. And as you can see, Garlic Bread's being a little hesitant to do his strings here because at any moment, you know, if they just let the spin rip, it's going to eat through 5S, 6S, and the ground pound, you know? So it, it, it really limits Baby's options. Cause like right there, you gotta be careful that your 6S is far enough away or you're gonna get pulled into the vacuum. Same thing with the 5S, but yeah, as you can see, Econ lets it rip and boom, he's picked up. Definitely Baby's like one of his worst matchups in my opinion is Lab Coat. And that is not gonna be the end because there is no way for him to get that down. We got the ghost. Oh, that was close. We need to get baby out of here. Guard, I mean, throw break. Ooh! Let's go, that was a really good. Oh, he's going for the optimal, I love it. And we got healed. Oh, we did drop though. Oh, that was scary. Nice. Nice. Wow, man. Garlic's reactions. Look at that. He reacted at point blank range. That is cracked. Ooh, Krillin. Krillin. I would like to see Baby get out of here. That's what I would like to see. He is so, so close to death here. Yes, he's getting him out. Level three set up too. This is, this is going to be the, the smoke trap. This is gonna be the smoke trap. You literally cannot see. It is invisible. Invisible mix, dude. He gets he gets high, low, left, right off of that. High, low, left, right. It's incredibly fair. It's fair because he's a human. All right, here comes Gotenks. Oh, oh my God, what a drop. Plus frames. Nice. Dragon Rush gets broken once again. Ooh, the beam, get off of me. I am Krillin. Oh, let me see that again. That was hype. <laughs> That's so hype. Rock. Dang, Ikohan's Oki, look at this. He delays the wake up for a second, gets up and then reflects the rock. They both reflected. Garlic reflect reflected just in case Ikohan would have mashed. Ooh, 
Whoa. So, Solar Flare is only minus two. And Garlic goes for the EX, which is Invol, but the Super Dash picks it up. Man, what a decision to Super Dash right there. What a decision. Level three, this is gonna put him in the corner. What's the Oki? This is scary, she can do anything. Okay, gets out. Man, Ikohan's Reflex. Oh my god, you can't open him up! <gasps> so scary. Oh, nice back dash. Minus two. Beam. Beam. Gonna get some Oki here. Gonna get a little bit of Oki here. Oh! <gasps> oh, he didn't get the follow-up. There's no follow-up ready. Oh! Oh, that was like the t oh, that was like the tip end, dude. I think that that was a punish attempt. I think he was trying to punish that, and he ends up getting he ends up getting punished. Dang, that was like the last frame of that reflect. That is heartbreaking. Oh, and the dragon rush goes through. And Japan's last man takes game one. All right, here we go. Round two, let me see what the adaptation is. All right, here we go. All right, this time we're going straight for the Guldo Oki. Last time we went for the route, this time we're going for the Guldo Oki. Forcing out the spark. Man, that's one of the craziest things about Ginyu, dude. Everybody at high level always uh, sparks early on Ginyu. Nobody wants to be a part of it. <gasps> Did he try to 5M that? Oh, I think he tried to 5M it, but it hit him. Ginyu's 5M does have a great hitbox hurtbox ratio when it comes to super dashes. But like, if you're too late on it, it's not gonna win. Well, we are in the hot seat here. We are in the hot seat. That was nice. He's blocking it. Oh man, and that that's the correct answer right there. When you block Ginyu's EX shoulder, it pushes you way back. But Dash OS is fantastic there because if he goes for a summon, you might run up and tag him. And if he tries to take his turn back, you'll block it. So right here, Garlic decided to jump back. Also a very good option. And the tap DR goes through. Oh, man. And then that's going to be the end of Ginyu. Oh, man. Ginyu is like the worst character to lose early, man. If you lose Ginyu early, it it just sucks because you lose access to Ginyu B, which is such a game changer. Ooh, and there it goes. There it goes. Throw him out of the corner to bring him back into the corner. In corner, out corner, meta. Uh, oh, and he just jumps out. I respect it. Here we go. What are we doing? Okay, we're going straight for the level three. This is going to be spooky. We're still going to have to worry about those spins. Oh, he went for the target combo. Oh, there was no way to save himself there. What a raw tag. He did... What in the... Ikohan's decision-making here is crazy, dude. He did C-assist, beam, raw tag. Like, look, Goku's traveling within the beam. And he tried to save himself, but there's no way to save himself because the beam was there. Bro, that was... Cr like, what kind of decision was that? insane. I don't think I've ever seen anybody tag with a beam like that. Like, he's inside the beam. Oh, okay. Oh, man. So, I won't say this is impossible. He's gonna have to put his mountain climbing gear on, though, because this is a mountain to climb, dude. We're going spelunking here. This is a mountain. 
And look, Ikohan is not even engaging. He's just like, I'm cool from over here. I'm only going to go in when I have an assist. Oh my god, Zanzokin. Zanzokin, it is invincible. Ooh, can this kill? Yes, it can. Get him out of here. That's two to that's two. That's two to one. The Krill Man. The Krill Man is no stranger to comebacks, bro. No stranger. Oh, and no one's a stranger to getting hit by Super Dash. Once again, level three in the corner, and I believe he can get a corner steal off of this. Please watch out. Okay, yeah. Oh my god. And that is going to be yet another 2-0. Man, I feel like this entire group stage has been 2-0s, bro. This is crazy. It's like the momentum has been unstoppable in this group stage. It's like whoever wins the first game, they just lock in and they take the second. It's crazy. So I feel like the turning point on this set was right here. The fact that in the last game, Garlic lost Ginyu like very early on, I think like really, it, it hurt his team comp and then it put him in a bad matchup scenario. And as you can see here, I didn't comment on this before, but Eko on purposely active tag, he could have got the kill with Blue Goku, but he active tagged into lab coat so that he could have this matchup here because like i said lab coat is just so good against baby because of that right there all, all like all of baby's zoning just completely goes out the window because she has this move you literally cannot zone her with key blasts so the fact that you know this matchup is what had to take place like right after losing Ginyu. I feel like it just led to like a slippery slope where Ikohan just did not make any mistakes and he was able to hold on to the momentum. And with that, we have reached the end of this review. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We are continuing to make our way through the group stage. We are now in the second group, so keep an eye out for upcoming games. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next match review or set of matches, including games from Grand Blue and Tekken as well. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.